Okay, so this is the first one that I'm going to be doing, so obviously the quality might be, you know, somewhat apprehensible. I've got some kind of jimmy rigged stand going on here, and I'm recording it from an eye touch, which cuts production time like nearly to the exact time of the demo. But here we go. I already got it started in six seconds, but we'll see how it goes. He's obviously doing the equalizer rollout, so at least he's not that stupid. Um, I'll try to give as much team chemistry as I can here, given it's one perspective only for now. Puts pressure down. He still stays and holds his height. It's good. You clearly got a shot off. You got another one. He, he continuously maintains his height. Checks, sees that no one's forward, helps the back. So far, so good. As far as your team chemistry goes, likewise as well. He waits for you, that's good. A lot of people overextend, like Carlson just did. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, nice. Nice. He's got very good game sense and he seems to know when to back up and when to move out again. Decent replacement pocket, at least. He knows that Tox is still out there, so let's see if he goes out in time to save him. Just about. There wasn't much he could do in that scenario. Had Tox have stayed near the clump, it probably would have worked out even better for him. Carlson spy checking like a noob. This is weird, right here. I think I saw this earlier when I reviewed it, but you put all your heavies up top, which is very odd, considering your scouts down below could get pushed very easily. But obviously you guys are probably thinking of pushing with your charge up. Let's just see how it works out for you. Nope, oh, there goes your scout, like, I, like I'd mentioned. Trade-off, but still. Could have done better to have not lost him. There we go. Got a nice jump out. Good pressure. You should have ran to him to save him. You shouldn't have had to have saved himself, but that's the medic. Should not have clumped that. Ooh, I got an item. In the middle of this nice. Oh, Quartz, you shouldn't have gone there. You guys lost a push. Uber v. No Uber. That's pretty bad. Probably should have waited for all of you guys to have gone up since you lost the scout. Call that out since Tox backed up. Assume he's got okay calls. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, though, I can't tab in to see. I think their demo's down. It's down again because of this top loadout that you guys keep pulling, but you're doing it again. <laughs> Lucky you didn't drop any stickies. What happened to that push? Ah, well, I guess that's what happened to it. 
if you're going to trail out with someone, you kind of have to trail out with them, like, as per the play. You can't just not pop and back out. Maybe it's another reset. Who knows? See, you're doing work. That's a heavy. Pretty decent movement. Managed to get that soldier, that's pretty good. Oh, forced to pop though. It's still really important. Hopefully you guys back off. They got your med. Yeah, it seems like you guys put a lot of people in the top lane, which is fine for pushing, but I mean, you're leaving your bottom exposed, and this team obviously keeps peeking out of it and catching, like, courts in particular off guard. Maybe it's because he overextends a bit, who knows, since we don't have his perspective per se, but it seems to be an issue for you guys on your last point pushing. I did just see him go in there, luckily he just got out. I believe this push ends ugly because he gets eaten by a trap because you don't pre-pop. Yep. Does look like you're doing some luring with courts, which is pretty good work in the left and right lower lanes. But you guys have to remember your team, the rest of your team is all upper, so if someone goes into the middle lane, which probably just happened there, they'll catch you. And again, Quartz is dead. And you guys have to wait yet again for a play. For me, I'd have him resupply into a play class, because you're going to be going in on another Uber, so like a cleanup heavy that you can fall back on, like a granary play would be good. Again, I don't know if that was called or not, but if it was, it should have been a pre-pop since it's an Uber on Uber anyways. There is ways to check that door also. Ooh. Ugly turn of events. Thank goodness for the back half, though. We roll the mid fight. See where it lands you. It seemed like he held his position pretty good, but the rest of the team didn't really do their job. Hmm. At least he backed off. Uh, a lot of Romans will overextend when they see one guy jumping. It's two down instead of one. But they're obviously going to Uber in on you guys soon, so hopefully. Your team chemistry is strong enough to realize that, and you guys back off a bit. But it seems like you're going forward with 30% or so. Oh, and there it is. What a what a surprise. Nice air shot, though. Let's 
Sadly, you should have used that bottom jump to get out because no one was helping him. Hmm. Wonder why he's opening his console so much. It's obvious from their team play that they also run a heavy, but their heavy watch is rear, and you have a forward playing heavy, which is fine, but if he gets hit, he gets juggled easily and stuck. Plus, he's nowhere near cz -er, so uh, if an uber exchange goes down, he's forced to run his fat ass over to him, which isn't really a good thing, but... Well, a force pop. They're two down, so it might be in your favor if they try to push you up to build really aggressively. Failed jump. Nice spot. Sadly, Mooney's down too, so probably gonna come in and clear house if they do it right. Yep. <coughs> Another 20 minutes, huh? He does kind of reach the pinnacle of his red when he's doing his loadout, which is really a bit much. He could equalize just as quick with like 60 and put less strain on the loadout. Oop. Moved my apparatus. This is good work on his part, but no one helped him. Try to shift this thing back into place here. Talk's doing work. Nice. Had to pop though. That's kind of a shame. Carlson's down. Clearly got scouts working the flank right now, but your buddy wasn't with you because he was just with him. Oh, ah, yeah, it's definitely a retreat. They're probably given mid right now, so I'd probably back all the way off. But. Doesn't seem like this team's really bright. Maybe his fake Uber helped. But you gotta wonder what kind of team you're up against when their engineer is playing aggressively, which doesn't really make sense. Must have called for a lower left push. It's medics downrange. Working great so far. That's a plus. Talks with a nice flex there. Locking them off. Ooh. Luckily Carlson was there. He should have just stuck to the point. You would have capped quicker on a second cap than a mid cap. That's obvious. Clearly fighting going on out there. Yeah, he's smart enough to go out and check. So far, so good. Hmm. 
You guys are pushing top left lane with all your heavies again, probably. Maybe not. Maybe you learned from that mistake. Oh, there's another mistake, though. Could have used the window to check that. Ooh. I do have to hand it to them, though. That was a a dandy, albeit lucky, escape. <laughs> well, they should have just backed off with it. Victory. Nice. Some more quick thinking from the scouts, though. There's no reason for that extra jump. He was perfectly in the red there. But it's just a little loadout issue. It's going to be a little slower to heal, but not by much. But it will delay his jump. He could have eaten them scouts a bit quicker. Took a direct. Ooh. Well, in reality, Carlson should have been called to cycle, or should have at least known to cycle by himself. Tox is locking off forward. Time has been had. So far, a total of one air shot, though. I mean, that's pretty decent given where you guys are and your division. I mean, can't expect super stuff, but at least he's got the potential to make one or two of them. A scout really shouldn't peek a choke like that. It's a very bright maneuver. Apparently works though. Ooh. Demo man's down. Medic should have just ran straight to him. That's definitely a call problem, more than anything. And talk shouldn't have went out. Though he did give a smiley emoticon. Pretty standard build right now for your D. Odd that you have no heavy and a sniper though, but so long as someone's watching the back door, they're clearly gonna go that way if they're checking so aggressively. Pre pop, yep. Nice job turtling them in there. Good time on the counter pop. Uh, back door, yep. So much for that sniper. I'd say I told you so, but I told you so. Watch him do a jump again. Yep. It's funny how even without the equalizer he gets there quicker. <laughs> Got forced a little back though because he messed up his jump.
Lucky bastard. Oof, unlucky bastard. I'm check the time here. Probably like 10 minutes or so. Yep, almost 10 minutes exact. You guys are clearly down both soldiers, so I don't think you should be pushing. If at all you push. Nope. Well, yeah, your scouts are forward now. Something just defended it. Fighting. Probably not good. Both soldiers are out. I won't be able to tell you how you guys did on the Badlands because he relinks it because it doesn't work and I've tried almost everything including adding different characters to the link to make sure that he didn't like forget one at the end but apparently not so I'll have to get that top left lane push again uh, your med clearly wants it and then, oh yes, he pre-popped. There's the sentry gun now. Ooh. Clean up heavy. This is not going to work. <laughs> Their scout on lower probably called him out. It's definitely a, a back out situation. Uh, I think you guys might have stayed in a little too long. Now they've pretty much got second. Mm, now they definitely got second. Seven minutes left. Hmm. Ooh. Stiffly denied. Demo and Romer down. You guys definitely lost this mid. Unless they do something terrible. Wouldn't be surprised if Quartz gets jammed up too. But, don't think they had anyone forward enough. Ooh, he's definitely got it. Yep. Last point, D. He's got a full uber advantage too, so he'd probably be rolling a heavy. Or at least should be. Sniper and the scout. Not a good idea. No one on back door yet again. Ooh, scout down, sniper down. That is predictable. Real need for him to slow down like that too often. Oop. Just tried for a far right side push. Not a good idea if you know that both their soldiers 
from the past rounds have not been holding but aggressively jumping either left or right and not mid because obviously they're going to be aggressive and when you're being aggressive and going through a single lane like that that little right hand nook pretty much screwed I'm surprised he didn't die it's actually pretty amazing but Tox is dead now Carlson is dead That should be aggressively building here, and that scout should definitely be a heavy by now. Yeah, another sniper. Tier's only like a narrow window for him to operate into, so it's very unlikely, especially considering they'll probably go far left or right and pre-pop, so he's not going to get a shot off too often. Oh, their medic got away. That's not good. Dox is doing work. Bottle work at that. He dropped an Uber with bottle, that's sweet. Decent ammo management there at least, but really kind of bad aim. So, not always just in that one scenario. Another minute or so. So there's no way in hell you guys win this. Might maintain the current score and not let them get a point, or they might get a point and win. But either way, it's a full 30 minutes, so could be anyone's guess. See if they win by five or four. Ooh. I did follow that up, you guys would have been in trouble, but Scout clearly just went back door. One Carlson down. Well, at least you guys didn't lose by five.
it was still a pretty good game. You guys just fell apart during your um, your last point pushes, which would have got you a lot more points earlier on. And then, you know, eventually they changed up their mid a bit, and you guys subsequently changed your mid strategy to basically the perfect counter counter strategy, like for them at least. You guys just jumped all in one right side lane and all died. Uh, wouldn't have recommended that, but is what it is, I guess. As far as the recruit goes, Nebula, uh, he did a lot, a lot better than I thought he would do. Though I didn't think he would be terrible. Um, he at least wasn't any worse than anyone else, and um, he seemed to do really well with like flexing and helping everyone out. I did notice on your last point defense as though he was kind of like in a really pockety situation a lot like far back left and Carlson was always on the right which is usually where the roamer would have been so I didn't I don't know what was going on with there if you guys were swapping off I mean either way it really doesn't matter but um, you know if you're looking for him specifically for roamer you should probably be roaming um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess, for now. Um, basically, change up your last point push strategies a bit more. You guys seem to be, like, doing the exact same stuff. Um, I don't know if that was the medic, who was also your tryout, or not, but that's what was happening. Um, you guys also need to watch overextending, like, with your scouts, um, whether it be after you cat mid then you're going to second or like just in general when you're holding like flank or you know main lane and they are peeking through chokes and stuff which is obviously a choke because it's a choke like you'd get choked out if you went through it and they usually did though not not enough to warrant what I'm saying but I think that was largely because that team was like deftly retarded in certain instances, like, you should not be able to peek through a choke. If their demo man was there for, like, ten seconds, he should have stickies up or something. But he didn't. I don't know why. But, you know, like I said, resend the Badlands one or resend, um, something else. And, uh, yeah. As far as other people who might be watching this or interested in me reviewing stuff, I'll have, like, a form set up eventually. But for now, I'm just working out the kinks with, um, the recording and production and stuff since I'm trying to minimize it so that I can maximize my output without actually like overworking production with flashy doodads and whatnot. So that's it. Forsaken. Off.